My name is Miss Grace. I'm an instructor here at Orange Easel. We're at Children's Art Studio in downtown Liberty, Missouri. And today we're going to be leveling up Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So reindeer aren't exactly the easiest thing to draw or paint. And with that in mind, I was planning on taking a fairly simple approach to this project. Usually if I'm simplifying something, I will kind of take a more silhouette kind of approach, but today I decided to go with more of a crafty approach. Miss Sarah also opted for a crafty approach, except she chose to do hers as a portrait, so I'm going to show you hers first, and then I'm going to show you how we might level it up to do a full body Rudolph. Miss Sarah managed to pull off an adorable Rudolph through the use of really simple shapes. With that same process in mind, this is the Rudolph I made where I just added a little bit of extension of those shapes in order to make a full body Rudolph. Now let's try and break down those shapes. All right, so here we're gonna start off with kind of a gumdrop shape. I wanna give myself enough room at the top to be the antlers. So kind of my gumdrop shape, except down here at the bottom, instead of going like straight across, I'm gonna kind of make a circle kind of shape. That's gonna end up being the muzzle of our reindeer. And I can do my nose any sort of ways. I'm just gonna do a quick circle one right here. And for mine, I usually like to give myself just kind of an indention just to kind of extend that muzzle. I'm gonna go ahead and do some simple eyes. They don't have to be anything amazing. Throw a pupil in there. All right, and then our ears. The ears always throw me off because I feel like I always have one that's like longer than the other. So symmetry, it's a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of the ears while I'm here. And then now I need to come up with my antlers. And the antlers, I like to do a little bit of a shape to it. The only thing is they have to be similar on both sides. They don't have to be perfect, but you want them to be balanced. Then for my body, that's the easiest part. All I need to do is kind of extend this out and I'm giving myself kind of the indention of where legs are gonna be. They don't have to be perfect. And then right here at the bottom, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of an erase erase. And then I'm gonna make my hooves. Maybe a little tail here. Don't go crazy with the tail. They don't have long tails, but we like to have the tail included and maybe Rudolph is happy. It makes sense for him to be a happy Rudolph. And then I like to add a little collar. And you can do the collar a bunch of different ways. I'll do jingle bells this time. Jingle bells, just kind of do like, I don't know what kind of shape this is. It's kind of a Y and then you just kind of add circles to the end of the Y. It makes it look like jingle bells. And that's how you make your Rudolph shape. And that's the breakdown of Rudolph. I'll leave you with some of the artwork of my students. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you next time.